What's up, everybody? This is the post game lobby for the Friends List podcast. We just finished recording episode twenty one. That'll be up soon. Uh, but we, you know, we got some brief topic, a brief topic we want to talk about. I'm Tybo. Just introduction of Tybo, Case, Joe, and Pat. In case you haven't seen any of these before, Case, do you want to introduce our topic? Yeah, uh, we didn't get uh, around to talking about it on the podcast, but basically, I feel like uh, you guys ever heard like somebody <coughs> come at you with like a YouTube story. And it's like, what I'm talking about is their time spent on YouTube and the way that it evolved over a couple of hours. And every one of these stories has a clear beginning, middle, and end. Uh, so, for example, the one that comes to mind for me, have you guys seen the video of the sperm whale that washed up on shore and the guy is like, he's got like a hockey puck looking side thing and he's like cutting it down the middle. Oh. And then he looks at it and then he cuts it some more and the guts of this thing explode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all the gas, but yeah. I went from that to... Like Jaguar versus Anaconda <laughs> to Lion versus Hippos and everything in between. And eventually I ended up with this thing. I forget the dude's name, but it was like Mark Sherman's top 10 greatest hippo charges. And I was like, oh, this would be fucking awesome. And I clicked oh, on it. And like the outline, basically the video was just this guy fucking with hippos until they ran at him and then blow him away with an elephant gun. Oh my god. And I don't have a problem if you want to go hunting, but the outline of this video was like all flames and there's like hard rock music playing. And I was like, this dude is the biggest fucking douchebag on the planet. Yeah, yeah. Just and I, fine, just I don't know why, it struck me in a weird way and I emailed the guy, he, he had his email thing because it's like a, a DVD series that he sells, and I emailed the guy and I was like, Listen, man, I understand that you can't get an erection anymore unless you killed anything. <laughs> but you're a fucking douchebag. Yeah. And he came back at me with, uh, I'll bet you voted for Obama. And I was like, no, I don't vote. I'm an asshole. Like, what are you talking about? But uh, that's mine. I don't know if you guys got anything with that. Uh, that's crazy. That's, that's insane. Dude, just, yeah. just like, yeah, like you I said. You like, you're a badass. Yeah, yeah like, if, if you're hunting, that's cool, but he's just... Provoking Dude. animals. That's like if someone was so to come up to me, yeah, yeah. Come yeah. Right for us. Yeah. start shoving me and saying, fuck you, man, you want to fucking fight? And I'm well, like, how it's fuck it's you, I'm going to fight. And then as soon as I charge him, he's blasting face. face. <laughs> yeah. You know, like yeah. provoking something just to kill it. Oh. That's fine. I got a weird one. So, um, big fan of Reddit. I was on Reddit. You know how deep Reddit can get and how fucked up shit gets fast. So deep. So, uh, I was on the front page. I subscribed to, like, uh, R Creepy. And then, uh... <laughs> So, it, it, usually it's just like pictures of like weird things that look like ghosts or aliens, you know, whatever. Nothing crazy. But I go into uh, the comments, bad move first, and then someone uh, links our, I think it was like last images or something like that. And the whole thing is about uh, last moments before someone died or the last tweet, their last Facebook thing. And there's this one that struck me. It was uh, someone that was at the, the Batman theater when the shooting happened. Uh. And this girl, oh, she was geez. like, yeah, she was like, oh, I, I can't wait for Batman to start. Well, will it just start? And then, like, the, the thing was, like, 15 minutes later, this woman was murdered. And I was like, what the fuck? She did not plan for that. Nobody plans for that. That was kind of weird. Um, and then at the end of it, I ended up watching some guy burn to death in a car. It was really fucked up. And, and I, you know, Sounds fucked up. It kept me, kept me up that night. I, I, I wasn't able to sleep. Dark, and never went back there again. It got dark fast. Internet's pretty deep. Jesus. You want to know what's a great Reddit page? Um, you ever go on Reddit no sleep? Oh yeah. No, I choose not to. Why? <laughs> no, it's just uh. There's so there's some weird shit on there. Yeah, but it's all fake. Some of th- yeah. No, it's stories. The whole point really? is you write oh. stories about. Oh, I just chose the, not the, to. These the stories based on I mean, real so- life situations, but the whole point of it is the users in the comment section have to treat it like it's a real situation. Oh, okay. That's why you probably thought it was weird. You probably thought it was real. <laughs> yeah. No, no, not necessarily thought it was yeah. real, but like ghost stories or something like that. You know, yeah, it's really not your imagination. Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, it's really cool okay. page because like, there's a lot of cool the stuff. Like, some of them get published. I've been burned by so many subreddits before. Yeah. I mean, well, and for me, it wasn't, for my whole rabbit hole, it wasn't necessarily going, you know, going, watching a whole bunch of different things going in comment section, going through. Um, I have this app on my on my tablet called uh, Reddit Picks. I think you guys have all seen mm-hmm. it on my on my iPad. And so I was going through it, and you if you don't pay for it, you can still go through some of the big ones like you know funny, uh, awe, you know advice animal stuff like that. And I was going through it, and I always use it for funny. And most of the time, if you know, if you exit out and then go back in, it'll stay on the on the subreddit that you were on. Well, one time I had gone, and it was just stayed on the. It, Reset it back 
to the front page, and I hadn't noticed. So I'm going through, I'm like, oh, you know, that's not, that's not funny. You know, you, you hit some are funny ones, you hit some of those. And then all of a sudden, it cuts to a WTF one. <laughs> and it was this homeless guy who was brought into the hospital because from the knee down, his leg was dead. And it just was covered in maggots. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, that so was... Just like a bad time. Yeah. It, time. yeah it, but it was one of those, like, that was that was really a no sleep for me. That's, that's what it's like. I've never wanted to you know, go on our creepy or our no sleep, nothing like that again. There's some really messed up shit out there. But then also there are good times where I've gone down the rabbit hole and found, and just found myself watching hours of beatboxing videos. We've all been there. Yeah. 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 We'll put it another. Yeah, you know, it's how I've also discovered, you know, a bunch of channel, a bunch of YouTube channels that I, oh, I still like. So, I mean, there is a positive to going down the rabbit hole. Okay, well, that was, that one took kind of a dark turn. But <laughs> <laughs> that's Sorry. our post-game lobby for episode 21. You know, catch it again on iTunes, Podcast Republic, Podomatic. Uh, follow, follow the Friends List podcast on Twitter and Instagram uh, at the underscore friends list. Uh, find us on YouTube at, well, well, you'll see where we are on YouTube because you're watching this video. Mm -hmm. You know, just click the channel, subscribe, like it, share this video, and, you know, give us a thumbs up if you think we deserve it. Leave a comment if you have any other ideas on what we should discuss on, you know, future, you know, post-game lobbies. I was Tybo, Case, Joe, and Pat. Thanks for joining us. Bye.